Hey guys, um, so on this one I'm going to talk about, you know, th thank you for all your uh, responses, yeah, no, sorry, not responses, for all your comments, okay, um, and if you ever got any questions, message them in one of my videos, I try to probably do it on one of the most recent videos or the current video because I might not spot it if it's been recorded a while ago. Any questions in the comments um, on anything I'll um, do a video around it okay. Um, so just put that out there. Um, and then this one's going to be on um, self protection okay. So, <coughs> let's say you've got young kids and you want them to be able to protect themselves, okay, just in general, like especially in school, um, when they're out and about, things like that, okay. So, this is my opinion, and I've got experience in this, so... I would get them signed up to an MMA gym somewhere, okay? That does boxing and MMA, okay? So boxing is used, that's what's mostly used on the street. Obviously, you've got um, a lot more people nowadays using knives, <clears throat> and um, I think that's disgusting. Okay, despise people carrying weapons. Um, someone grabbed the car coach, posted a video on Facebook. Okay. happened in New York and this guy starts pointing this knife at this other guy and this guy absolutely battered him like, you know one of those probably smacked him 20 30 times smashing his head against this um, top but I mean what comes around goes around, you know. People sort of saying that, you know. People sort of saying, you know, deserve that. You go around anyway. Um, so, self protection for your kids. Boxing and MMA for match fighting, okay? So, you're in a fight. You're already in a fight. Boxing, MMA, okay. Um, if they're in, let's say, primary school, you want to get them really good at grappling, okay, because that's what happens on the playground. Okay? For that, say Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, as you get older, you've got to be wary of like. Surrounding, so a bit of judo, wrestling, rugby. Okay, um, so you want to be up off the ground as soon as possible. Okay, so Brazilian Jiu Jitsu will actually help you do that. I know it's ground fighting, but it teaches you how to deal with something on the ground. Okay, so super important as well. Don't stay on the ground, you need to get up. Also, you want to do self-protection training. Super, super, super important. If you got, if you can do some sort of self-protection training once a week, okay, so important because it will teach you about the psychology of things, how to control fear, um, how to spot. Threats, uh, pre threat behavior, it will teach you so, so much what that you know, what 
They'll teach you a lot that won't be taught, doesn't get taught. It's terrible. In martial arts and combat sports, okay? So combat sports, you're in a fight. You know, it's a match fight. It teaches you how to fight when you're in a fight, okay? Self-protection will teach you the fence. So Jeff Thompson got famous for you know teaching the fence. Okay? How to deal with someone up in your face. Giving you this uh, threats, things like that, and how to keep your fence. Okay, if you want to study the fence and scenario training as well. Okay, so MMA will teach you like how to match fight. Um, Self protection will teach you certain scenarios. Someone comes up to you, grabs you by the throat, by the chest. How to deal with that. Um, Couple of guys got hold of you, you know, um, how to uh, line people up, okay, so it's not just one on one. So, for that, you've got the real combatives and urban combatives, okay, I train both, they're both very similar, okay, super, super important. In fact, Urban combatives, for example, will teach you more about self-protection than like any martial art combat sport will ever do. Okay. I mean that. So but it doesn't teach you're in a fight out of you know land more strikes. This, this will teach you like, you know, you're in an, you're being ambushed, uh, but you, you've got to study both really, but um, Lee Morrison, the founder of um, Urban Combatives, he says like, you know, back in the 70s and 80s, it was common, you know, to have like a match fight with someone, and then like afterwards have a pint down the pub smoke a cigar but he says those days are long gone people don't match fight anymore okay so like <clears throat> I mean you think about how many people go you, you know have seen someone go up to someone go, right let's have a match fight then you know and they're, they're, they're stood there with their guard up right ready to go and then the other person's gone okay let's go with, with Lee, he would say, just, you know, if they're three foot away from you, you've got time to turn around and run, so you can have the mates with her, blah, 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 blah. So, he doesn't train match, you know, match fights so much. But he doesn't do sparring in urban combatives. They don't do it. Whereas in the real combatives, they do. So, I do agree, you know, you've got to be good at sparring. Um, The idea is to avoid getting punched and be good at attacking, you know. Um, so yeah, I would say boxing, MMA, urban combatives, real combative systems, um, or any sort of like self-protection training. So you've got You've got a few others out there. Okay. Uh, I like the way Kelly McCann teaches. Um, I watch his videos. Um, and you want to learn knife defense. Get really, really good at knife defense. Okay. So I've got a mate who's like well into it. And then you've got Lee Morrison well into it. Kelly McCann. Obviously, you want to avoid getting into a fight with someone with a blade, okay? Because you're probably going to get cut. They know how to use that, how to use it properly. Okay, so avoid it at all costs. If you haven't got a choice, if you haven't got, um, you can't escape. You want to be X 
excellent at knife defence. So self protection training that teaches you how to deal with people with weapons. Baseball bats are super, super easy. The most common one, so you've got a baseball bat, hold it with two hands like this, and then they're going to go like that and swing around. Just what you do is you charge at them like this into the side of the neck shoulder okay so they're like this and you had and just basically knee them and knee them and knee them head bar so you've got hold of them you're like in a side clinch okay and you just just go from there um knife defense you know a lot different and what i started doing at first when i was training real bad I'd be coming at them, even though they've got the knife, worst thing you can do, okay? Because they just keep poking holes in you. Um, and the kind of idea is, every time they flinch, do a strike. That makes sense. So every time they go like that, do not, you know, go to move. Or always keep this, maintain good distance. Um, Really, every time they go to move, sting them. Okay, kick them in the legs every time they go to move, kick them in the legs. And if you've got like anything you can pick up, like a rucksack, suitcase, a chair, put that in front of you, okay, as like a shield. But anyway, you need to learn knife defense in self-protection training. So you got boxing, MMA, and match fighting, okay? Krav Maga, I do Krav Maga uh, twice a week. Uh, and then I do uh, real bad systems once a week. And then I do, I'm doing this uh, online course. Uh, I'm sorry, not urban combatives. Real bad systems once a week, it's a three days a week in total, going out trading. And then I do these uh, online videos, urban combatives, and I train, train the videos there. Um, they're run by Lee Morrison. Um, but um, yeah, what I would recommend, obviously, if you've got a crab guard club that's good, okay basically covers like you know your combat sports scenario training everything like that knife like weapon defense and things do that and get really good at it it's like self-protection training and you've got boxing mma so boxing you know mma covering muay thai anyway covering thai boxing wrestling judo brazilian jiu-jitsu so you cut in um mma um, you're covering striking, grappling, and wrestling on. And then in boxing, you're covering what's most common. Okay? So just people throwing punches at each other. Okay. Because, um, you know, good eight times out of ten, you see people just throwing punches, you know, headhunting, don't you? Okay? Boxing is going to cover that. MMA's like back up if anything else happens, they grab you, how to deal with that. Um, so it's wrestling with you, strong dudes, how to uh, deal with them. Uh, uh, boxing and MMA. Um, you can, like with MMA covers like Thai boxing and also they, they, they include like hammer fists and other things as well. Self-protection training, you've got like sparring and you're learning to spar with no rules if that makes sense, but as you, you know, they got glory guards on and armor on and special headgear. So in terms of headgear, what you want to do is so Lee Morrison covers um, something about headgear. Um, what the best headgear is when you're training, okay? So, well, I've got to go in the I've got some orders online. Um, I've got a process, so, um, 
so I sell products online, it's an e-commerce business. Anyway, um, so you want to get an American football helmet, okay? Soccer helmet, you know, with the, the cage in the front. Um, and then you want to cover inside the helmet um, two layers of BJJ mats, so Brazilian Jiu Jitsu mats, two layers of that inside, okay? And then you get, um, I forgot what the glass is called, but it's strong glass, not bulletproof, but like you punch as hard as you can, nail breaking it, and it's not going to crack the glass. A certain type of glass covering above the um, and around uh, inside the cage covering the face in case you can see through it um, and then three layers of this special tape okay and you can just hit it as hard as you can without causing too much too much damage so you want to be able to if someone's wearing that okay um, be able to hit both sides and be able to floor them both sides if you left and right okay um, and you get that that real feel of what it's like to hit hit well okay um, and they react <coughs> um, a little bit you know less but if you can floor someone with that on you definitely be able to floor someone without it on. anyway gotta go guys any questions like I say post them in the comments section and I'll respond to you in message uh, questions via video so thanks for watching guys look forward to the next one peace